Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ServiceNow CMDB, we are discussing today CMDB architecture. You can watch all the videos with respect to ServiceNow CMDB in this playlist. Till now we have added three videos. That is what is CMDB, what is configuration item and overview of CMDB. You can start and watch it. So to understand the architecture, we have a very simple diagram here provided by ServiceNow only. This is the diagram. Let me maximize it. So before explaining this, just understand that CMDB is a kind of table, right? And in a table, we store the data. So how the data is coming in, how it is processed and how it is available for others to watch out or to see or to use. That is the whole picture here. So in the orange one, we have the data in that is from where and how the data is coming into ServiceNow CMDB tables. So the very first way is discovery. It is basically the scanning of all the network devices and then uh, capture the latest uh, update or the latest status of those devices within ServiceNow CMDB table. So this is a discovery. Then we have service mapping. So it is a more advanced level of discovery where we are discovering uh, the devices along with the applications. Or you can say discovery is a horizontal level discovery and in service mapping we have the vertical level discovery as well. So for the time being, just remember this is a way to get the data, to get the details of the CI which is there in your infrastructure. And the last part is API. API means we have some kind of integration from any legacy tool or from any other application from where we are fetching the data and updating the CMDB table. And then we have engine that is in green box. Okay. So here you see identification and reconciliation. So once we have the data from outside, that is from orange one, we have to process the data so that we will maintain the accuracy. We will maintain the identity of that data. For example, if same type of data is coming from two different sources, in that case, we have to identify, we have to reconcile and then update that device. Okay. In order to avoid the duplicacy, in order to maintain the accuracy, we have these IR rules that is identification and reconciliation rules. So once the data is processed successfully, then we update the CMDB table and then the data is available to be shown to the user or the data is available to be used. Then the whole organization can easily understand the data and take advantage of that data in order to avoid service interruption in order to calculate the cost and there are various other advantages of a perfect reconciled CMDB. Then finally you have this data out here in which this data is being consumed by a number of people like uh, process owners, general users, help decks, people or the consumers or customers. So this is uh, the basic architecture of CMDB how we are maintaining the accuracy and identity of CMDB tables, which is very much important. If this is not happening, then there is no use of having this CMDB table. Instead of giving some advantage, it will be a huge overload for the company. So that's why we have to make IR rules. We have to understand IR rules and update it or implement it carefully. So I hope you understand the architecture. If you have any question, let us know in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.